Ivan uh, from Belgrade, uh, Ivan Sasovac, talked about image, image in society, image of the orchestra, image among the audiences, uh, etc. Uh, that's my first question. Is that a thing that should be better? Should image be enhanced? Should that be much better than it is? And the second question is, please, you from the US, tell me, were you inspired by some of the European words? And please, you from Europe, were you inspired by some of, of the Paul words from the US? I mean, those two different models, do those models inspire you after today? I have a last question. That should be the third one. Is there an issue with ticket prices? Are they too high? Uh, some of you talked about it. Uh, I'll start with Jan Willem, and after I'll take Paul, and then I'll follow the row. And please uh, make short answers to these three things. So it is image problem, and get inspires from the other continent. And the last one is ticket prices. Jan, will you start? Yeah, with pleasure. Um, image problem. Yes, I can imagine that symphony orchestras have an image problem as being old-fashioned, playing for elder people, um, not connecting with the society. I know many orchestras and colleagues of mine are working on this, and they, they are aware of these problems. But at the end, <laughs> the main problem is a symphony orchestra is a symphony orchestra. I mean, you can... You can invent all kinds of, of products, but uh, if you don't want to be a symphony orchestra, then become something else. That's, that's image. Uh, private funding, I see that it's becoming in Europe more and more important. Um, in fact, the reason for that is that, um, that public funding is diminishing and that we have to to replace our our aim to find to find this money uh, it doesn't make me happy but we should be prepared that uh, private funding will be more more important in the future my problem with that is that at the end the orchestra will be also privately owned so the ownership moves from public to, to private. And the problem for me with that is that also that usually means that you have to be more popular, that you have to, 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 to probably to raise ticket prices, which makes the orchestra less affordable for a broad public. So, uh, but at the same time I say be prepared and, uh, and let's learn from the American orchestras how, how that works. And ticket prices, um, at last, you know, if you compare, as you did, the ticket price of, uh, of a pop concert with the classical uh, concerts, then I think the problem is there that classical orchestras, they play maybe 50, 60, 70 times in a year, and that one time that your favorite pop group comes in five years, you, you will be ready to pay for it. That is the problem. So as soon as the symphony orchestras also play one time a year, then I think we can raise the ticket prices. <laughs> Thank you. Will you continue, Paul? Yes, yeah, so on the image problem, I guess there are several different uh, aspects of that. First of all, uh, we have done a lot to try to bring younger people to the hall. We uh, have done very low pricing for uh, adults who bring children, for example. We want to make it a family experience. You talk to a lot of people whose uh, early childhood memories are, are coming to the symphony with their parents, so we want to continue that. Uh, we have an emphasis on uh, young professionals as well, but still the bulk of our audience is going to be uh, older and, and probably aging. That's part of the, the entire society is aging, so I think that's inevitable to some extent. But other aspects of the of image and attracting uh, a younger audience, I think is one, we have to make use of the Internet more. 
uh, that's where a lot of the younger generation gets their information or goes for entertainment. So we have to be there. Another part of it is to, uh, we, we are trying in Dallas to personalize the orchestra more. Uh, we uh, have never had the, the uh, musicians' uh, pictures other than the principals up in the hall. So we're going to put all of the musicians' pictures up in the hall by section with their names so people can start identifying with them. And, and then we've got a, a musician's uh, uh, catalog where people can read about them. Uh, we'll continue that online. So it's a way to personalize the orchestra to involve uh, our, our audience uh, with the musicians themselves. And you, there's so much today you can do with the Internet in that, in that respect. So I, th I think it's uh, um, making the, the orchestra um, uh, come more alive to, uh, to our audience. Um, on ticket prices, I think that uh, we have to keep a broad range. Um, uh, Jan Willem, w one of the aspects for us is uh, we want to attract people to the hall not so much just for the, the ticket sales, but we want to create a relationship with them for life. So it may be that we, uh, I think that uh, our uh, uh, sort of impetus is to make sure that we maintain some low prices so that we can have a broad audience in the hall. Yes, we have some, some higher prices at the high end, just like you, you sell any product uh, what, for what the market will bear. But we want to create relationships with people across all segments because someone who starts out buying a $10 ticket when they're 25 may be a billionaire by the time they're 50, and, they, and they, you, know, you, you have to create those future contributors when you're, when you're living by a, a private uh, contribution model. Um, and then as far as, um, as uh, being inspired by, uh, by hearing uh, the situation in Europe, it's, it's interesting to me how similar things are. For example, uh, shorter subscription uh, sales, uh, series sales, um, the aging of the population, that sort of thing. The circumstances are very much uh, uh, similar, I think, other than where our subsidy comes from, whether it's private individuals and companies versus the state. I think that um, how you get that money varies, but, but uh, we, we both have that problem of, of having to get a subsidy from somewhere uh, to, to run our operation. Thank you, Paul. Upping, do you think you can answer? Yes. <coughs> I think we uh, all agree. Uh, close the microphone closer. Okay. I think, yeah, does it work? I think we all agree that there is an image problem. Um, and it's very difficult to solve image promises. Um, I do think that it's almost impossible to break this problem by trying gradually to get younger people to the existing concerts. Um, the, the way to solve it, I think, is by having separate series which are really oriented on a younger audience, um, which have a different atmosphere, Maybe it's even possible that you have an orchestra as a whole that specializes on this younger audience, have a slightly different repertoire. Um, and so you get new brands uh, with a different imago. Um, and then second, um, and this is probably related to it, is what I learned from you, uh, Mr. Stewart, is this idea of having film composers, uh, yeah, working with orchestras, and maybe you could even give them commissions, uh, f possibly from, the, uh, from these production houses I was talking about, like in uh, theater, commissions to uh, yeah, compose a new repertoire to go to together with others, um, which I would call audience-friendly. I know that's already happening now, but uh, we have this, had this long period of contemporary classical music uh, new music which wasn't really audience friendly. Um, so that again could be helpful. Um, and then about prices, um, yes, I do think they could go up. And I do see that uh, youngsters are willing to pay higher prices for pop concerts, not just for the special groups. No, they are average concerts compared with average classical concerts. So it's also the concerts they go to every fortnight. Um, almost irrespective of the group. Yeah? You just go to a concert. 
maybe, yeah, some people don't go that often and they are prepared to travel and then you get these special highlights, but they could also exist in uh, classical music. Um, coming, uh, Simon Rattle coming to Amsterdam could be, uh, yeah, advertised much, much more than it is now. It should be an event. Uh, once every two years there is Simon Rattle and actually people from Paris should be prepared to travel to Amsterdam. That should be a new situation and it's not impossible, I would say. I, I, I would get one more answer of you, out of you. Uh, did you get inspired what, uh, from what Paul Stewart said about the US models? About the US? US models of subsidy. Uh, that was my third question. What do you think about the US model as a subsidy model? So having far more private funding, no yeah. sponsors and donations. Well, I think I said, yes, it appeals to me, but here in Europe it will be a matter of a long, long time to change traditions, having donations becoming more, far more important. And again, you only get people enthusiastic if they also see, ah, there is an audience, uh, this thing is alive, I want to uh, yeah, affiliate with it. You can't just rely on, uh, on traditional industry people or whatever. No, it has to be the new thing. Like, um, yeah, people like the Apple people or Microsoft people being interested in investing, sponsoring this thing where it's happening. Okay. Thank you very much.